Well, this is going pretty well, I must say. I started storing all my strips of wood like this, support it at the ends and then wait in the middle to kind of pre-curve them. It makes them easier to curve them when I... And I only have six left down there, so I'm gonna throw some of these out the window and chop them up, plane them and chop them up. all the boards I've got in here left. Oh, wait. This guy might be... Oh yeah, that one too. Okay. And then I have some strips up there I can still use. After that, I'm gonna have to go to the jungle with a chainsaw to get more. Oh wait, I've still got a few boards down here too. You know, I might have enough. Well, no point in counting. Let's just see how it goes. First, we need to do some planing. All right, let's get the saw out of the way. We need the planer first. The planer and the saw, I use the same wires, so I just stick them on whichever motor's being used at the moment. So I try to plan it so I do all of one before I do all of the other. <laughs> Switching back and forth. And someone's going to say, well, you just get two sets of wires and a switch. Meh. Yeah. I don't care. Ooh, fancy little custom wrench. Let's just check that I put the wires the right direction. Yep. Well, I guess I'm ready to go. You can't stay in here when it's running because it's loud. Well, what are you going to do? Stay in the shade, don't get sunburned. Okay, those are all planed. This here is one of the strips I cut a few days ago and the board accidentally moved. 
so I ended up cutting it way too fat at one end. So I'm just going to run it through the planer a few times and get it back to uniform width. Yeah, it should all be that thickness. Make sure my board doesn't move at all. Screwing it down. I got one screw over there, one here, just to keep it from moving at all. Because I need these strips to be uniform. damage on this board, but it's all right. Oh, it's like a 50-50 chance it's going to break. No, I think it's all right. So I said to my kids the other day, how should I finish the racetrack? Like, should I leave it wood colored? Like, put something clear coat on it? Or paint it? And my daughter goes, Paint it like a track! And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so pretty pretty sure I'm gonna paint it like kind of brownish, reddish, orangish, like the color of outdoor tracks. At least the ones that I ran on, mostly they were that color. With white lines. So I think I'm going to have like one lane here, white line, white line, orangey brown color, burnt umber, I don't know what it is, and then one line, white line, white line, then here too, and that'll be the track, here to here, and then the rest of the floor is just like
Guys, would you just turn it down a little? Try to calm down a bit. Sound, but everything looks fine. Yeah. Right, check it. Good. It was a skull. Here, should I go right here? Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to do the blue? Uh -huh. Next bit. Just do it. Goes this way. Yeah. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop moving, stop moving. So how many rows is there so far? Can you count them? Um, these. How many of these? One. I gotta go to <laughs> You can't count them over here? Okay, okay, check it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12.